Mr. Argetta, is this a photograph of you, sir? Where are you? Uh, that's Zion. Zion Park. And who's on your shoulder there? That's uh, my partner in crime, Hunter. Hunter. And, and how old was Hunter? He was six. Six years old. What kind of dog was Hunter? Hunter was a Beagle Golden Retriever mix. And this is uh, Hunter mimicking your expression. <laughs> you know, we're in a peat in a pot. Yeah, I see. Now, I understand you also have a video. Yes, I do. Showing what you consider to be this very special relationship, even beyond what those of us who have pets. Uh, All he needed to do was talk. All he needed to do was speak. OK, let's see it. Sure. So that's up in the Sierras. <laughs> that's up um, through our travels to, through Utah, Canyonlands, fire. Valley of Fire. What happened with Hunter that caused you to reach out to the plaintiff, <sighs> Mr. Napolsky's uh, firm? So we decided to go to, up to the Sierras. It was the first time up there. Decided you and, and, and Carrie? Carrie my girlfriend, went up to visit some hot springs. Fortunately, he, crossing the street, a car caught him. I ran over to go to the vet and he passed. We started looking to make arrangements how and where we could take Hunter. And Carrie, can you come up, please? Yeah. And she came on Rainbow to Heaven. Uh, Carrie, you, did you call Rainbow to Heaven? Yes. Did you discuss the costs for cremation services? Yeah. It was, was it approximately $800? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what did it include? Um, we, well, we were expecting for them to meet us there, pick him up, cremate him, provide an urn, a uh, paw print. And you don't deny mm -hmm. that somehow that order was never processed correctly, am I Correct. right? Yeah, not denied. But you don't deny that they ordered it? No. So what we've presented here with is a mistake by the plaintiff, but what evidence do you have that beyond that mistake, they treated you so poorly that you would be justified in essentially penalizing them to the tune of $5,000? From the very beginning, when they picked up Hunter and they met us from at the house, everything was great. The, the gentleman that picked him up had great compassion for me. After a couple of days, I decided to follow up. Um, I believe I did speak to Stephanie. And when I asked, you know, I just, I'm inquiring in regards about Hunter and where he's at in the process. And Stephanie's words is, Hunter who? I was like, my, my dog. It's like, she didn't do anything. She hasn't done anything. There's no name tag, there's no urn, there's nothing. You don't deny that, Stephanie, do you? I don't deny that. I found his order, but I wasn't able to find that he had an urn, that he had a nameplate, or even that he had bought a paw print. Which should have been there. Exactly. If, if it, okay, continue. I was dumbfounded. Hunter was everything to me. When I got Hunter, he came into my life in a very pitiful time. My brother was dying of cancer, and he was my comfort. So at this point, everything that I could have from Hunter was very meaningful to me. Whoever's a pet owner, the saying goes, who rescued who?